Welcome back to Kathy Cooks. And we are not in the kitchen today, or not yet. We are here to talk about Parmesan cheese. Now, this is one of the things that I've had a few questions on from my kids and friends, is which Parmesan cheese do I buy? It's something that, um, you know, the age old question, right? All the philosophers are talking about it. <laughs> um, I'm here to discuss basically three main types of Parmesan cheese. Now in these three types, you can get subtypes. So our first one is what you buy as you're walking through the aisle at the grocery store, no refrigeration, and it's just on a shelf. You put it, you know, it, you pour it out, you put some in your hands, it's just kind of fluffy and flaky, you know, and and it has some flavor. It tastes mostly of salt, if you ask me, a little bit of pungency, but it has some flavor. But the, the thing I want you to remember is it's not refrigerated and it's, you know, just an aisle on a shelf. It is shelf stable. Now, one of the things that I learned years and years ago is the best way to grocery shop is to shop the perimeter of the grocery store because it's all cold items and barely go down the aisles. I go down the aisles to get um, my beans. I get pasta, uh, condiments, and what else? Dry goods, but that doesn't count. Um, maybe a granola bar here or there or crackers, but I do not shop through all the aisles and I never take my grocery cart down the aisles for two reasons. One, I got a bad back. Turning a heavy grocery cart hurts your back and your neck. Two, you end up buying all that crap in those aisles. So don't go down those aisles with your cart. Leave it at the end and just shop the perimeter as much as possible and get your few little things that you need that are in the aisles. The other two Parmesan cheeses are in different sections usually. And the next one is usually by the deli meats, not the ones in the deli itself, but like your Oscar Mayer and that, or it's by the refrigerated cheeses, either of those spots. And that is your cheese that um, usually comes in a tub, already shaved. Sometimes you'll find it in a, a rectangle or in a triangle form, but, and it just says on it, Parmesan cheese. Whether you shave it yourself, you can buy it crumbled, shaved, or um, like grated kind of pieces, the fine grated. And all three ways, it's pretty much the same. And it says Parmesan cheese. These are better than the aisle ones. They're, they're better. They're convenient because a lot of times they're already shaved, you know, so when you're in a pinch, those work really well. And there's the ones hanging with all the cheese, like the Sargentos, and those are okay too, um, but I'd prefer a tub over uh, the, the ones in the bags that are hanging. But, and, and this is, the price point is from the beginning. The first one is the cheapest. The second one I talked about is the middle, you know, and then the next one is just my favorite. And that is buying Parmesan cheese from the region that is known for Parmesan cheese. And that's called Parmigiano Reggiano. And you cannot say Parmigiano Reggiano unless it is made in Italy in this region of Parma. So that's just exciting to me. It's kind of like, when you want port wine, if you buy Porto, that is made in the Porto region of Portugal. No other wines can be called Porto and sold at our grocery stores. They could be called Port, but not Porto. And there's other things, Champagne. Champagne is from the region in France. California makes sparkling wine. So there, there are things to, to protect the quality and so people know what they're getting. Anywho, I, I can't talk more highly about how delicious and amazing Parmigiano Reggiano is, but it comes with a price tag. It is worth it 
it is really hard, um, you, you know, and you, you pretty much have to use your tiny grater part of your grater to, to, get, to get it to work. The, the big grater part is just too hard. I, I've never seen it graded for you. Maybe maybe you can find it in the specialty grocery stores already graded, but the flavor is fantastic. And this cheese is found usually with all the other fancy cheeses over by the deli and they're displayed in a case much differently. They're, they're merchandised and marketed differently than the cheeses along the wall you know what I'm talking about. They're hanging in the bags and then the block. That's where you see Kraft and Sargento and the store brand cheese. And I'm not knocking those. It's really what you can afford. Um, or if it's a special occasion, try the Parmigiano Reggiano. I guarantee you, you will notice the difference. I mean, you don't have to use as much because the flavor is just so potent and pungent. So let's go over to the kitchen for a little bit and I'm going to um, show you just, I, I'm just gonna do a little taste test so you can know that, that there's a difference. And if you can afford it to give at least the second one a try, if not the third one. And I'm not knocking Kraft and the other brands that do the shelf stuff. Well, yes, I am. They're, they're, they're really not that good. But if that's what you can afford, that's what you can afford. I used to buy those. I BJ's is kind of like Costco or Sam's Club. I used to buy the big mother of the Kraft Parmesan cheese because that's all we could afford. Now I can afford a little bit more. My kids are out of the house, so I get the good stuff. And Costco has one that um, is very good. So you can get one at Costco. I'm sure all the big box stores have it as well. So let's head over to the kitchen and let's give this a try. All right, so we have our cheeses here. Now, this one, I'm gonna use it. I'm not wasteful. If someone gave me 20 of these, I would use them all up. I'd probably use them in dips or something like that. Um, like an artichoke dip, uh, you know, just to get rid of them. You know, they're not terrible. Doesn't have a lot of flavor. I want you to buy all three of these and I want you to see like how unimpressive that flavor is. Okay, this is getting there. Okay, and then I already shredded some. Okay, this is like um, pungent. Okay, I'm probably gonna choke trying this. I taste salt and a little cheese flavor. And someone might say, hey, that's my favorite cheese you just messed with and go for it. Flavor-wise, it's lacking. I'm trying to see if it has uh, enzymes, cellulose powder, potassium something to protect flavor. Okay, and then this one. Okay, so this one, Parmesan cheese. You know, so the cellulose, blah, 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 okay. Rubbery. Very rubbery. Potato starch. Powdered cellulose added to prevent caking. That's because it's already shredded. So that's probably why they did it here too. They have a, a cellulose powder. Doesn't say to prevent caking, but yeah, anytime you get a shredded cheddar or shredded cheese, cheddar, whatever, they have to put a coating on it to keep it from all clumping together because cheese should clump together, right? Okay, then we have, I have my Kirkland brand. Each half pound is six bucks, basically. So that is not bad. This is just cow's milk, culture. You know, and some culture and salt, that's it. Feathery 
beautiful goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna try some of this. So, this obviously, this had a little bit more flavor, but not a ton. From the beginning, the bite is there. This took quite a while of getting through the rubberiness and the cellulose coating to get a flavor. This, this is what Parmesan cheese is supposed to taste like. And unfortunately, I think most of America has never had it. It's amazing. Okay, tip. Since it costs more, you don't put out this much on the table for people. You put it in a smaller bowl with a little spoon so they can just put a little bit on. You do not need as much, you know, if you need two tablespoons of this, two teaspoons of this is the same equivalent. It has so much flavor. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks and we'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe below. You know I need your subscriptions to feed my family. Not really. <laughs>